interaction of electromagnetic radiation with matter. As we earlier mentioned that the basic principle of spectroscopy is nothing complicated but how the electromagnetic radiation interacts with the matter, with the subject, with the sample that you are trying to study. Okay, so whenever electromagnetic radiation comes in contact or interact with the sample, any of these three things might happen or rather all three of the transitions might happen. Now, what are those three transitions majorly? Electronic energy level transition. Suppose a molecule is at room temperature, okay? So whenever a substance is at room temperature, obviously the molecules or the components of that substance or the subatomic particles and all the species of that particular substance, they are in the lowest energy level, okay? The lowest energy level, I mark it as E0. Okay, so at room temperature, the molecules of the substance that I want to study, they are in the lowest energy level, E0. Now, these molecules are subjected to electromagnetic radiation. Okay, so what is happening now? The electromagnetic radiation is interacting with the matter. So when they are interacting with the matter, the molecules which are residing at the lowest energy level, E0, they acquire the energy and the energy was sufficient enough to make the outer orbital electron to jump from its lowest energy level to the higher energy level. Okay. Fine. So this transition in electron from the lower energy level this is the ground state if we look at have a look at the graph the y-axis represents the energy and this is the internuclear separation over there on the x-axis this lower curve represents the ground state energy level of the electron fine and the higher curve represents the next higher energy level Okay, so let's say a um, species residing over here. So I give it energy. The energy was sufficient enough to cross the barrier between these two energy levels. Okay, so what will happen? The electron will jump from its ground state energy level to the next higher energy level. This is labeled as the excited electronic state whenever such transition occurs it is called as electronic transition means the transition of an electron from its ground energy state to the next higher energy level and the change in energy is again given by the Planck's equation h mu wherein h mu it can also be represented as the energy in the nth orbital minus the energy in the ground state level where n, n can be any integer one two three or so on okay the difference in energy between these two levels is lying in the range of 35 to 71 kilocalories per mole what does this mean that for an electron to jump from its ground state level to the next higher energy level the energy of the radiation should be in the range from 35 to 71 kilocalories per mole, then only the electronic transition will take place. Energy levels will be crossed by the electron. So this is the first part, that is the electronic energy level, okay? So when the amount of energy is sufficient, the lying in the range of 35 to 71 kilocalories per mole then an electron is capable of jumping from its ground state energy level to the next higher energy level the second is the vibrational energy level vibrational energy level and the third is the rotational energy level okay now let's have a look again at the earlier slide the electron is residing over here ground state energy level these horizontal lines, light blue colored lines that you can see in the figure, they represent a change in energy level from the one vibrational level to the another. What does this mean? 
okay let's try to understand this first we know that all the molecules in the ground state even at absolute zero also they a particular species carries a definite amount of energy okay if an electron is not undergoing a translational motion not undergoing any other motion then it may occur with vibrational energy means it is vibrating in its own position no matter it's not going from one place to the other but still it is vibrating in its own position so that particular amount of energy which is possessed by the uh, vibration cause that is the vibrational energy level okay so these light blue colored horizontal lines they represent the definite vibrational energy level and my electron which is uh, labeled with a uh, red arrow over here okay my electron is sitting over here okay now means it is vibrating with the energy corresponding to this line light blue colored line okay it possesses this much amount of energy vibrational energy now i subject an electromagnetic radiation to this electron electron acquires energy from the electromagnetic radiation fine but the energy was not sufficient enough to make a jump of this electron to the next higher energy level it was lesser than 35 to 71 kilocalories per mole okay so what will happen obviously the electronic transition will not be able to occur then what will happen okay the energy is sufficient enough to make a jump of this molecular level means um, uh, of this electron i'm sorry from the vibrational energy level this to this okay that means the energy is sufficient enough for a molecule vibrating with a particular energy okay to make a jump to the next higher vibrational energy level okay then what will be called it as it will be called as vibrational transition means the electron is making a transition in energy from one vibrational level to the next higher vibrational level okay and the spacing between these energy levels are very small lying in the energy range of 0.01 to 10 kilocalories per mole when you compare this amount of energy with the electronic transition you see a very very big difference it was 35 to 71 kilocalories per mole of energy which is required for a electron to undergo electronic transition but this time what happened my radiation did not carry that much amount of energy okay but it carried a sufficient amount of energy lying in the range from 0.01 to 10 kilocalories per mole now when this energy is available to my electron it cannot undergo electronic transition but yes it can definitely undergo the vibrational transition okay so this time the electron will undergo vibrational transition and not the electronic transition the third type it is the rotational energy now let's have a quick recap of what we discussed right now first was the electronic transition when does that happen when the electronic uh, electromagnetic radiation has sufficient amount of energy lying in the range from 35 to 71 kilocalories per mole then that radiation is capable of making an electron to jump from its lower energy state to the higher energy state okay so when this phenomena happens it is called as electronic transition the other part when the radiation does not carry the sufficient amount of energy to make an electron undergo electronic transition then what can happen it can be vibrational energy level okay or rotational energy level out of the two how will you decide whether it will undergo vibrational or rotational energy level definitely when the energy of the radiation lies in the range of 0.01 to 10 kilocalories per mole then it is capable of making an electron to undergo vibrational transition okay from one vibrational energy level to the next higher vibrational energy level but what will happen when the radiation carries much lesser amount of energy lesser than 0.01 kilocalories per mole 
then will there be any transition made yes of course there can be it can be rotational transition okay why because the rotational transition requires the least amount of energy okay so the least amount of energy is required for rotational transition next higher level is vibrational transition and the uppermost is the electronic transition